Hey, what is up guys? I'm here from AndroidRoots.com and today let's go ahead and take a look at Purity RAM for your Nexus 4 device. And of course, if you guys are ever interested in downloading, flashing this RAM, check out the one link in the video description where you can go and download it, flash and do all these cool mods to your Nexus 4 device with Purity RAM. Uh, so as long as we got that out of the way, let's go ahead and take a look at this. And one thing before we go ahead and dive into settings uh, where all the customi customization features are, let's go ahead and take a look at our app drawer. And one thing just to note, one thing really quickly is that it's five by five so on your usual one it's I think it's believe it's four by five uh, so just one little modification I just did notice in the app drawer five by five uh, not a big deal just want to mention to you guys uh, if you guys like having more apps in the same app drawer page uh, that could be helpful for you guys um, so here we go we got two options we got system and dark UI if I go and turn on dark UI it just makes the systems darker um, I'll just leave it on just hopefully it should help with the uh, camera and you can see the text easier uh, at least I hope it should. <laughs> um, so here we are. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at a little bit of each of everything. Well, at least I'll try to and not make the video too long. Um, so here we are at the very first one. Uh, you can go and change the location of your clock style. So you got right clock center. So if you change it in the center, now it is in the center. You can also change the day of the week too. Um, so I actually like this. So if you guys are very busy, you guys don't know which day it is. Maybe it's Saturday, maybe it's Sunday, maybe it's Friday because you had a crazy night. Uh, this will kind of help you, I guess. Um, so you can actually change this. So you can do don't show and then Saturday goes away. Um, small weekday, now it's small. And now regular weekday, it's a Saturday. And yes, I'm actually recording this on Saturday as I have no free time on the weekday since the school takes up all my time and I freaking hate it. Uh, but I guess I have to deal with it. Um, until I'm out of, out of, you know, one more year. <laughs> and then I should have more time. Uh, but let's go ahead and take a look at other things. Uh, so we also have battery text. So you can go enable that. And now the uh, battery has text. So it's 37%. Uh, battery style too. So it's, we do uh, percentage. Now it shows the percentage. Uh, we can just do the uh, plain old battery icon. And just before you uh, started messing with this, it had a circle with uh, battery percentage. Uh, right there, so there's battery with per battery percentage. Uh, you can change the location of it, the style of it too. So I can go and change it to centered too if I, I would like to. Let's go oh, back out of that too. Um, you also have charging animation. Um, one thing I couldn't get to work was the battery bar color. Um, even when I change this to a battery bar at the top, um, the color wouldn't change, probably because I messed with the style and all that too. So if you don't mess with the style, um, you, you should be able to change the battery bar color. Uh, hopefully you should, and same with the thickness too, you should be able to. Um, I believe it doesn't work, yeah. Um, so you probably have to have a certain um, option selected or settings selected for the battery style uh, for it to work. Um, currently I have it set to signal status style to text. So now it says text, so it's negative 87, I believe. I uh, can't really read that far. <laughs> um, and also you have something cool, which is brightness control. Uh, so if you slide your finger on top of the screen, you can actually change the brightness of it. Uh, so if you don't have a bit, uh, auto brightness set selected, uh, this is pretty darn useful. So if I go and select it right here, if I let me go and try it again. As you can see, it dimmed right there. Now if I go and slide it over, now it's brighter, dimmer. I can change it back to brighter. So as you can see, it does work very flawlessly and super easy to use. Uh, so let's go and dive back into settings. Whoop. And dive back into settings right here. And that's about it for status bar. I'm not going to go through everything. Um, we can go into lock screen too. Uh, so you can change the background, default wallpaper, screen security. Um, and I have battery status always on. Uh, so on the lock screen, you can al uh, always see the battery percentage. So it's discharging 37%. There you go. Uh, power menu, we can go and take a quick look at that. So if I go and select uh, screenshot and reboot menu. And uh, let's go and enable that two there right there so now I go oh actually I don't even need to do that just hold on the power button and there boom you have screenshot expand desktop airplane mode and all that too and I believe you have reboot option there so yes you have reboot options too so you have reboot recovery and bootloader I use recovery so many times uh, to enter easily enter into recovery mode super super easy and works with both clock mode recovery and team and recovery if you guys didn't know uh, so I actually do like that I actually personally prefer it over doing it manually. So let's go ahead and also take a look at button height. So currently it's set on 34. Uh, 48 is the default one, so as you can see it is pretty darn small. Um, and I can go to super small, so if I set it to 24, now it's super, super small. Uh, let me go and put it back to normal, just so it's easier for me to select. 
Um, so you can go and change it. So if you want more screen real estate to watch your videos or browse the web and read articles, you can go and make that smaller, especially if you have smaller hands, it's not a problem. Or if you have big hands, you can go and make it bigger so it's easier for you to tap on it, uh, whichever one you really do prefer. And lastly, uh, I guess we'll take a look at colors and glow. Um, so navigation bar color, we can go and take a look at this. Uh, so you can go and change the color of it. So let's go and change it to red. And boom, nowadays it's nice and red. And of course, you can change the color for both button glow time. <clears throat> actually, <clears throat> change the, just the uh, time and the navigation but, uh, button glow color too. Uh, so I'll show you the color too. So let me go and uh, change it to something uh, more bright. So it's nice pinkish or change it to green now. So whenever I tap on it, um, I don't know if you can see that. But now it's green. Uh, you might be able to see that. Let me move my finger to the side. Yeah, as you can see, it's a little bit green right there. Um, so as you saw right there. Um, and yep, I'm still pressing hard on the screen as I don't know why it's messed up like this. And of course, you got quick launch shortcuts too. So you can go add more shortcuts aside from Google now too. So you got Kill App and all the other stuff too. And that is what I really want to show you guys. Purity ROM for your Nexus 4 device. You got 5x5 uh, app drawer and customization features. Nothing too fancy, nothing too crazy, but still gives you that AOSP feel, speed, and performance while still giving, it, still giving you that customization features on your Nexus 4 device. If you guys want to check this out, once again, it is down below in the video description. And if you guys did enjoy this ROM review, ROM review, be sure to like and subscribe in the bottom left hand corner right there only two clicks away to really make my day and guys be sure to subscribe if you want to see more of these ROM reviews for your Nexus 4 as I do post Nexus 4 ROM reviews on a weekly basis so every week I post Nexus 4 ROM reviews so if you check back next week or you can just subscribe so you guys get notified um, you'll see another ROM review guys so be sure to subscribe for that and like this video too it really does help me out a lot and of course, if you have guys have any questions, comments, anything like that, you can leave it down below or go and contact me through Twitter, Facebook, or Google+. Everything I mentioned in this video is down below. Thanks, guys. Peace.